Join me now as we follow in the footsteps of Vlad Dracula. Located three hours drive north of Bucharest, Paneri Castle sits on a mountain high above the Arges River. Its strategic location made it an ideal stronghold against hostile invaders. This fortress was built by Vlad the Impaler using slave labor. One year, while the nobles of Wallachia were celebrating the Easter holiday, Vlad arrested them and their families and forced them to build Paneri Castle under threat of impalement. They worked until their clothes rotted off their backs, but the fortress was completed in record time. The most famous local legend about Poneri Castle occurred during the Turkish invasion of Wallachia. After waging a difficult guerrilla campaign, Vlad Dracula found himself cornered by his own brother, Radu the Handsome, who had taken command of the Turkish army and was now laying siege to the virtually impregnable stronghold. A soldier from Radu's battalion, who was still loyal to Vlad, wrote a secret message to his former master, informing him that the Turkish army intended to storm the castle the following morning. The soldier shot an arrow containing the message into the castle window where it was found by Vlad's wife, the Transylvanian princess. She handed the note to her husband, climbed the castle wall, and threw herself into the river below. Her last words were, I would rather die in the Argies than rot in a Turkish prison. Although the threat of invasion is no longer present, there are still many dangers lurking in the woods surrounding Paneri Castle. For several years, the trail leading up the mountain has been closed during the summer months due to a large number of European brown bears in the area. I encountered one of these bears myself while trying to find the location where Vlad's wife fell to her death. Just two days prior to my arrival in Romania, a British hiker was attacked and mauled by a brown bear in this very same stretch of mountains. Despite the threat of bears, not all the wildlife around Paneri Castle is dangerous. There is a pack of wild dogs, which are actually very friendly. These two became my companions as I explored the river surrounding the base of the castle. If you plan on spending the night at Poneri Castle, I would strongly recommend the hotel sitting just at the base of the mountain. Its Romanian name is something I can't pronounce, but it means the Citadel Guesthouse. If you're lucky enough to get a room facing the castle, you can actually see it from your hotel window. Despite being courageous enough to jump the protective fence leading up the side of the mountain, I was still turned back from visiting the castle by the large European brown bear I encountered. If I wish to visit Poneri Castle again, I'll probably have to go during the winter or late fall months when the bears are hibernating. <laughs>